Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a bar AB of length L is supported as shown in figure. At any point along its length A, vertical load Q can be applied. Determine the position of this load for which the tensile force S in the cable BC will be maximum and evaluate the same if the various angles are as shown in figure. Neglect the weights of the bar and the cable. In this problem given is a weightless bar AB of length L is at one end, uh, one end of the bar is uh, held on this wall, vertical wall and at other end a cable BC is attached like shown in figure. So the angle between a horizontal and this bar is 60 degrees here and angle between this bar and this cable is 15 degrees. So the weight Q can be attached at any point along uh, length AB. So in order for the uh, tension S in the cable to be maximum we need to find the position of Q along AB. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. Uh, the weight Q is acting downwards here. Uh, let us call the distance between A and this point is X and total length AB is L. So the component of Q perpendicular to this bar will be Q sin 30. Since this angle is 60, this angle should be 30 degrees. So the component of Q perpendicular to this bar will be Q sin 30 and the component of Q along the bar will be Q cos 30. So similarly the cable C, BC will experience a tension. Let us call that RB. So the, in the problem it is given yes. So RB is acting along this cable uh, BC. So since this angle is 15 degrees, uh, the component of RB perpendicular to this bar will be RB sin 15. And the component of RB along this bar will be RB cos 15. So here a reaction RA will be acting perpendicular to this wall that is shown here. Now let us take moments about A. So uh, moments about A we have sigma MA equal to 0 and the component of Q along bar AB similarly the component of RB along bar AB will not produce any moments about A. So only these two forces Q sin 30 and RB sin 15 will produce moments about A. So let us see that sigma MA equal to 0. So the moment due to Q sin 30 will be Q sin 30 into X that will be a clockwise direction and moment due to RB sin 15 will be RB sin 15 into the length L that will be counterclockwise direction. So these two moments must be equal. So here we have written Q sin 30 into X equal to RB sin 15 into L. So after rearranging this we get RB equal to QX sin 30 by L sin 15. So after simplification we get RB equal to 1.93 Q into X by L. So X is the distance from A to the point of application of Q and L is the total length. So RB that is a tension in this cable S yes, will be maximum when X equal to L. So the maximum value of the tension in the cable S yes, that is also equal to RB, RB max equal to 1.93 into Q. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.